So if you've got content to create and you don't want to spend hours battling with complicated video editing tools, I remember trying to piece together a simple promo video when I was new to editing and it was a nightmare. I was looking at tutorials, trying to figure out layers and keyframes, and I just wanted to throw my computer out the window. A friend of mine actually recommended v.io to me, but let me tell you, there are a few things you need to know about it before you commit. Now, stick with me until the end of this v.io review because I'll get into how v.io actually fits into my real world workflow where it's been a lifesaver and where it's made me want to pull all my hair out. And if at any point while watching, you wanna give v.io a try, check the link below to get it at the best price available. Okay, so v.io is a great online video editing tool if you want the simplicity. I mean, the drag and drop interface is genius. I can just drop my clips and text and boom, I've got a video. I've used v.io to create quick social media snippets, short explainer videos, and even do some basic podcast video editing. What I really appreciate though is v.io's accessibility. It can edit from anywhere on any device. I actually edited a quick TikTok and Instagram reel on my phone while waiting in line for a doctor's appointment. That's huge for me because I'm always on the go. The collaboration feature are also pretty cool. I can share projects with my team and get feedback in real time. We recently used it to get feedback on our client's testimonial video and it saved us from never ending back and forth emails. V.io is also just a huge time saver. What used to take me hours in the other editors now takes me 10 minutes. However, and this is a big however, while V.io text and animation tools are good for basic stuff, they're not very customizable. If you need to do anything beyond regular text overlays, you're going to be limited. I was trying to create a more detailed intro for a client's explainer video and the text animations were just too basic for me. Audio editing also isn't very impressive. You could trim clips and adjust the volume, but that's it. I was trying to clean up some audio for a podcast interview and I realized I needed to switch to another audio editing tool for this task. But for quick, no fuss projects and everyday editing, v.io is still my go-to tool. If you're a beginner looking for a simple online video editing platform, then definitely give v.io a try. I've put the link in the description that lets you try v.io at the best price available anywhere. Bye guys.